Hello everyone, I'm Jean-Pierre Wibau, Calabar Technical Advisor with Janie Turner from UK Thermomix. We will introduce you an incredible machine who can blend food, uh, grind, scale, warm up and refine. The Thermomix TM31 is an interesting machine that chocolatiers and confectioners and pastry chefs find very, very useful and we'll show you some of the things that it can do as we do the following recipes. First of all, let me introduce you to the Thermomix. The Thermomix bowl is one bowl. It has one blade, which comes out very easily. And that one bowl and one blade does everything from the gentlest of stirring to the most powerful of kneading and grinding and milling. And the blades are interesting because there are four different angles, four different heights, and they cover the area inside the bowl very well. Everything is dishwasher safe and very easy to clean, so very practical to use. We have in the front of the machine a display that shows time and weight. There's a built-in electronic tear scale and a built-in electronic timer. The speeds go from 40 RPMs, which is very gentle stirring, up to 10,200 RPMs with a turbo button for instant top speed. There's also a range of temperatures from 37 degrees to over 100 degrees and um, built-in weighing scales, which are extremely useful. Now we'll show you how to temper chocolate in the Thermomix. And this is very valuable for competition work, for um, a small artisan chocolatier, and for recipe development, even in a large production situation. So Jean-Pierre is going to weigh the chocolate into the Thermomix now. So first of all, remove the lid. Put the scale on zero. Add plus minus 400 grams of pellets. Close it again until you hear a click. Then put the timer on around four minutes. And then the temperature 50 and then we switch on on speed two. I see that there are some pellets left on the side, so I have to switch off for a while and scrape well the edge. As you can see, there are too many pellets sticking on the side, so scrape well and keep going. So now I switch it off and check if there are still some germs left. And now we have perfectly tempered chocolate with a few small bits of callets left to provide those lovely crystals that will make the chocolate perfect to work with.